Body cavities. We're learning spaces in the body. So basically you're learning nothing. What do I mean by nothing? You can't see this until we fill these spaces. When I look at a room, you can't see the inside of the room, but I can see it once I build the walls around it. And we'll talk about the memories to help create these walls in one of our next videos. My dog Walter is very excited about this video, so if you hear him snoring, that's him. But as we learn these spaces, we divide it into two basic cavities. The ventral cavity or anterior, so the front side of the body, and then the dorsal cavity. So let's start with the dorsal just because it's simple. The dorsal referring more to the posterior. Two cavities. The cranial cavity, that space that holds the brain. The spinal cavity that's holding the spinal cord. So we have these spaces, and then when we look at the dorsal cavity, we'll cover what we call meninges once we get to the nervous system. We've probably heard the term meningitis. We'll learn that the, the brain and spinal cord is all just one big piece that's just wrapped with membranes called meninges. When we get into the ventral cavity, we can divide it into thoracic cavity and the abdominal pelvic cavity. And then we can further break down the thoracic, so with my entire chest, and the division between thoracic and abdominal pelvic, and you can't see it on this picture, but that would be the diaphragm. And the diaphragm is a muscle that we use for inhalation. So as I breathe in, so the thoracic is divided first into the mediastinum. Mediastinum towards the middle is this region down the middle to where it's going to contain the posterior side to where I have the esophagus, the trachea, all the way to the spinal cord. So on the anterior side of the spinal cord, towards the front, moving anterior, just this space here, and I'll have some of my larger blood vessels coming off the heart. So it's a space in the middle. My pleural cavities is referring to my lungs. So my right lung, and as I say right, it's always referring to how I look at it in the anatomical position. So my right lung, that space, is the right pleural cavity. For my left lung, the left pleural cavity. And then pericardial, to hold my heart, it sits into the pericardium. So the heart sits in the pericardial cavity. All of those make up the thoracic cavity. When I get in the abdominal pelvic, we get very creative and we divide it into the abdominal and then the pelvic. The majority of it, as I go just inferior to where the diaphragm would be, this is all the abdominal cavity. It's holding all my digestive organs from the liver all the way down to the end of my large intestine or colon. When I get into the pelvic cavity in this space here, what it's not showing is some of the reproductive organs and then some of the, the last part of my digestive organs. So as I go inferior, the last part pelvic cavity. So I divide abdominal pelvic into abdominal and pelvic. Remember I said we're also we're going to talk about the walls. This leads into membranes, specifically serous membranes. So in the next video we'll talk about serous membranes.